So when I do these labs, sometimes I just put in random passwords and I don't really think about documenting it. Yes, it's not a great idea. But how do you actually reset the password on a security gateway or firewall? Well, if you don't have access to the CLI, let's say you don't, you don't know the password and you get like, yeah, password has failed. You cannot really log in on the Gaia portal, the CLI. It doesn't work with the console switch. Of course, you can reboot the box and factory reset and reinstall it. Maybe not the best idea. But you're actually able to send commands from your security management server to the gateway. Because remember, they are connected with a SIG key. So they do not use this password to actually communicate. They use the SIG key for this. So if we log into the management station, so yes, you need to be aware of password for the management station. Yes, you need to be aware of the expert password so you actually can get into it. And I will do like this. I will zoom in a bit. I will remove this. And then uh, the first command is to generate the hash. And we can do like this, help. So if we check the SK here, uh, generate the hash ring. And it's referring to 1, 5, and 6. So this is different options that you can have. So here you have it. So six is uh, SHA-512, five is SHA-256, and one is MD5. So I would say uh, the stronger, the better. So of course, SHA-512 is the, is the best uh, in this case. Um, I normally go for, for five. And I just want to show you that it's really important to actually take in all the, the the correct command so if we would do like though like this and just put in five and vpn one two three it gives you two lines here but the command is actually minus five so you see it's a big difference on how it's actually generating this password so in this case I believe it's generating password with a space and VPN 123. So just remember to have this five. So, and I will do VPN 123 exclamation mark. So here we have our password string. And now we want to make sure that we have the, um, the configure lock on. So this would be like this. And then we need to put in the, the IP address of the gateway. So this will be 192.168.1.2 for, for CP gateway number one. And then we want to send specific commands. So I will do like this. Um, maybe I can do like this. We don't need so much information. So the command here is actually set configure lock on override. So it will send this command and it will give a prompt saying that this is done. So the next one would be not to set uh, this one, but to set the password. So the command you want to send to the gateway is within these brackets. So yes, you can actually do show configuration here. Show configuration. And it will display the configuration from the gateway that you're sending it to. So that is pretty cool. So, so yes, you're able to, to send whatever command you want, as long as you actually know the command. And this is a command in Clish. So you see here bin, bin uh, slash Clish, and it's sending this specific command. And we want to reset the password. So. We want to do this set user uh, admin password based. And now we want to take the hash that we generated. So I will uh, scroll up. So this is the password that we generated. Copy. Paste. 
and remember to have this quotation mark in the end. If you don't have this qu quotation mark, it will not actually send this command. So enter. And we can do the same password or a different password for the expert one. So you have first the uh, to the user privilege and then you have to the expert mode. So we can do uh, to expert. And then it will be set uh, expert password and then put in this um, this one again. Copy. Then. So now we have put in the password for both admin and expert as of this password that we generated. So we generated the password VPN123 uh, exclamation mark. So if we try to log into this one, so admin VPN123 exclamation mark. And I don't know how I can show the password. You just need to trust me. And I'm logged in. And this specific user it goes directly into the to the expert mode. But we can do a cliche here as well. Uh, we can take uh, this prompt so we see that it's working. VPN123 question mark. Or uh, exclamation mark, I mean. So that's how you reset the password. So have we missed something? Of course, we need to save the configuration. So we can we can do it here. We can send the command. <laughs> save config. Save config. And uh, you see lock database override. We need to have the lock because we logged in to the to the CLI and we also logged into the portal. So how do we take the uh, lock? We do, do like this. So we need to send the command lock database override. Okay, we do that. Lock database override. And now we can send the command save config. So did you get all that? Maybe it was too much stuff, but more or less in expert mode, we generate a password. So I will show you this one. So more or less we generate the password and these numbers, they're referring to what sort of algorithm you want to, to run. Then we check if the, um, uh, the configuration lock is on. If it's not on, you can do the lock database override. You can send whatever command you want here. As long as it's in Clish, because we are referring to a Clish command. Then we can send, then we can change the password for the, the admin user. And we're using the hash string that we get from this command. And remember, it's uh, minus five or minus six and then the password. And we can also do the same with the, the expert command. Then try that it works and save the config. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.